You have the Vortex. This is the T10M Pro. Make sure we're talking about the same tablet. Looks like this cool camera, Vortex on the back. <laughs> Don't take a big bite of granola before you do a video. All right, here we go. And you have this tablet. You have forgotten your pen, unfortunately. No matter what, you can't remember it. You forgot to write it down. So what do you do? Well, what we have to do is we have to reset the device. Unfortunately, you're going to lose photos and data, but you can regain your the function of your of your phone, of your tablet. All right, so the first thing we have to do, we have to power off the device. Easy, just power it off. And then what we're going to do, as soon as it confirms that it's all the way off, is we're going to hold the volume down and power at the same time. Volume down and power. And there we go. Vibrated to confirm that it's off. So now I'm going to hold volume down and power. And Oh, I let go. Hold on. All right. Volume down and power. And don't let go. Keep holding, keep holding. And you can let go as soon as the Vortex logo shows up. It's going to be a few more seconds, maybe 10 more seconds. And we're waiting for something called factory mode to show up right here. And at factory mode, it's going to give us a choice called clear storage, clear stro age. Isn't that a funny, huh? I wonder if this is uh, not made in America. Clear, <laughs> I didn't catch this in the other videos. It's hilarious. All right, clear stro <laughs> I tried to stop laughing, but I can't. All right, let's scroll down to clear storage. <laughs> All right, and then you scroll down with the volumes, and then you press power four, okay. And then it's going to clear out the device, and it'll bring up the logo, and then it'll bring up the welcome screen again. You can sign back in. Uh, remember, if you if you do turn on your Vortex, or if you set it up the first time with your Google information or your Gmail information, you'll still 100% need to enter your Google or Gmail information. What we've done is we've just erased the screen lock. All right, keep that in mind, and if this has helped you, please subscribe.